In this lesson I'm going to show you an easy way to create complex task lists in Teamwork PM using a type of template. Now Teamwork T PM already comes with templates but they're very simplistic in nature. You can record a name, a description and a list of steps but anything more complex like people and workflows and dates get lost in the, these templates. So the best way to go is to create a specific project and I've created one called templates where you create real jobs and assign them to people and you give them things like dates and uh, dependencies and you use them as the template for, for creating new templates in a different project. So we can take pages, how to create a set up website and clone it over to this particular project that we're working on in the future. Now let's have a look at a particular template structure. Okay, so we have a wiki with all of the uh, different processes recorded and documented here. And let's say all we want to do is add a new wiki document to, to the wiki. Let's create a process around that. So we've, we've worked out that the steps required is to record the wiki document location in a mind map, research and create an outline for the document, create the document, record the URL so that we can tell people, in particular we're going to tell the quality assurance person who's going to check the work, the QA person is going to notify the team, probably using a social collaboration tool like Yammer, and they are also, if needed, going to let the client or the business owner know about the document for further review. Now because these documents in the wiki uh, we've got here how to upload lessons from screen steps on Google actually exist in a mind map as well for visual representation uh, so it's probably that one and we have these representation of stuff that's complete not complete ready to go. We now have everything that we need to uh, create this template so let's go over to Teamwork PM. So we're in the templates project and we're going to add a task list and we'll give it a name. So we've called it wiki add a wiki page. We can also go to template and we'll select that minor template that the basic template we had and we'll leave it we'll leave all these values and just create the task list and see where we're at. So the first thing is we've got a uh, a task list created, a basic description and some of the stuff that goes into that basic description is just the URL where documentation for this task would go so whatever that URL we would type in here and we'd obviously type in a description that made sense. Now we will pin this so that it shows up on the left hand side but we don't need to worry about anything else because this is still just the template project. So. So, so far we have the task list name, documentation URL to do, and a description of it. So all this information will go through whenever we need to create a new wiki page. So let's now add in the tasks based on the mind map that we had earlier, based on this list. So I've added in all of those items as tasks in the order that they were in. You can drag them if you need to. I've given each of them a description that makes sense for the task so that when the person is working on it they know exactly what they've got to do. And the next thing you can go through and is just give estimates for each of these uh, tasks. So for each of them I've just added a bit of a time, the only one that's actually going to be different based on the wiki document is probably the research. Sometimes it might be three, four hours couple of days but that'll be up to the project manager to decide. But the next step we need to do is create dependencies in that we can't record the URL until we've created the document. We can't create the document until we've done the research etc. So the way you do that is you don't need to worry about the first one. Go to the second one. So the research can be done uh, well they can be done together so they're fine but the creation of the document can't be done until after this one. So we click on here, go to edit person, go to dependencies and set 
a predecessor. So creation of the wiki document is based on research and create outline. So there's now a dependency. Let's say there are changes. So I'll do that for each of them. Now I've gone through and created all the dependencies I want. I did fill this one in. So this is dependent on here, dependent on here, up, up, and these two are individually dependent on QA, so they can be done at the same time. Now the ne next step that we need to do is assign some people. At the moment anyone can do it. But because this is a template, we don't know who the person is going to be in the future. So what I've done is created some people that represent more types of people. And we'll go, the, the mind map would usually be done by the project manager. So if we go into here, edit person, and we'll select who it's going to be. And you can see I've created an artificial user called project manager and made them available within this project. We actually have more users, but these are the users that make sense within this project. So project manager, save it. So I've assigned project manager to the mind map wiki document. A res research assistant actually does the work. The QA person will check the work and notify the team. Uh, th because when they're done, this person, the client, will automatically be notified. I don't have a client user created, so I've just put my own name in. In the next lesson, I'm going to show you how to create a new task list uh, using this template and setting the correct people and filling in the right, right information.